Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today I have, as promised in last week's Kali installation video, the video on how to install Parotsec OS on a physical laptop. I will guide you through each step from creating the USB drive until we are into booted into our live system. So the only thing you need is a laptop and a USB thumb drive and about half an hour of time. All right, let's get over to the computer and start the procedure. All right, after plugging the USB drive into your computer, go to the parrotsec.org website slash download and download the security version of Parrot OS. Choose the 64-bit version or 32-bit if you have a 32-bit system, that's up to you. And uh, while that is downloading, go ahead and download Rufus. Go to rufus.arkeo.ie and scroll down a bit and download Rufus 3.1. We are going to use Rufus to create our bootable USB drive. Once you have both things downloaded, go to your downloads folder and start Rufus by double clicking it. All right, make sure your correct USB drive is selected up here. Click on select, choose the Parrot security ISO file and click on start. Now select right in the dimage mod um, if there is a message about some newer version of syslinux is available and if you want to download it click yes. That message usually comes before that. Then click right in the dimage mode and click on ok. Click on ok again to confirm that everything on the USB drive will be destroyed. Click OK again, that this drive contains multiple partitions, it doesn't matter. And then wait about 5 minutes until the procedure is finished. Alright guys, imaging process finished, took about 5 minutes. I have the stick right here, I'm gonna plug it into the computer and I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna say it now and I'm gonna probably say it again. Uh, look up Google, how to get into the boot menu of your computer, just Google your um, notebook model and uh, the phrase a boot menu but again this is what I'm also gonna say again if you want to install a penetration testing operating system you probably should know how to get into your computer's boot menu all right then choose the USB flash drive from the boot menu and hit the enter button give it a couple of seconds to start and then you can either try the distribution in live mode or you can choose a couple of different options here from the Parrot Sec 4.1 boot menu. I'm just want to install it, so I'm a select install. And I'm a select the, the standard installer. You can choose the one with uh, GUI. I prefer the standard one. So I'm gonna choose that. I hope you can see the screen while I try to adjust the uh, webcam to it, but I, as far as I can see that you should be able to read what I'm doing. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds for the installer to come up. There it is. First select the language. Select or don't select the country and area you are residing in. I'm gonna do that for now. Germany and the locale. I leave that on United States at all times. Uh, then choose a keyboard layout. I'm gonna choose the German one here. Takes a couple of seconds. By the way guys, if you have any requests for other installation videos or any other tutorials, please leave them in the de description below. Uh, in the description, yeah, sure. In the comments below. Um, also send me an email on info at seosec.com for any requests that you have regarding videos and what kind of stuff is interesting you. And I try, certainly will try to provide the material for you. All right, should be almost there. All right, now the first thing on Parrot, which is different from Kali Linux, is that you need to choose a uh, non-root user, which we are going to do here. So full name would be, of course, your full name if you want to provide that, and uh, then a account name, which is the non-root user account that will be created. Choose a password, choose a safer password than I do, retype the password,
And uh, because this is a penetration system uh, OS, I highly recommend to set up an encrypted LVM and choose your hard drive. All files in one partition as recommended for new users. And we want to write the changes. Then enter an encryption passphrase. This can be the same as your root password if you want to. It's just important that it is encrypted. And uh, of course choose a not weak password like me, choose a secure password. Click on yes and let's see what's gonna happen next. I think you need to one time, yeah one more time confirm to write the changes on the disk. And again, yes. And now the installer will run through the installation. I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll be back on the next installation step. is almost finished now. Now we are going to install the group bootloader on our master boot record. So select yes for that and select your hard drive. Then group is going to be installed. And the installation is already wrapping up. It took about 5 to 10 minutes for it to finish. Let's give it a few more moments. Select continue. And the system should reboot just in a second. After the system was cleaned up, it automatically went into reboot. You can already remove uh, the thumb drive. And Parrot should boot up in a second. This is automatically booting now from the group uh, boot menu. Now we need to will need to enter the disk encryption password that we just set earlier in this beautiful parrot encryption window. And then we should be in the live system in no time. All right, enter the password of the user that you set up. Give it a couple of seconds for the first time boot. And there we are. Let me put the brightness up a little bit. Yes. Um, so for Parrot, uh, you have to choose your keyboard layout again after the installation. I don't actually know why, because we already did that before. Uh, select German here again. And uh, then first go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi over here or plug in a cable, however you prefer. And click yes to check for updates to update the system to the latest version. And there you have it. That was pretty easy, right? Same as installing Kali Linux. Installing Parrot is pretty, pretty straightforward nowadays and pretty easy. As I said, if you want uh, more tutorials um, on uh, penetration testing or whatever installation, just leave it in the comments below and I will see to it. Um, also, please, if you like that, of course, subscribe to the channel. Give the little uh, bell uh, a tick that you get informed about new tutorials and also like this video right here and with that i leave you to parrot have fun with it testing and it's a great distribution see you in the next video